Howdy there. So I would assume that you've arrived here because you've been looking at replacing the batteries on your Black & Decker FS 1320 drill. And you've probably found out that the only option is to have them rebuilt. Um, there is no option to actually directly replace them unless you're lucky enough to buy batteries that someone still has in their stockpile that they're selling either used or um, rebuilt at some point. So what I've done is bypassing trying to replace the 1320 batteries and gone straight for the 14.4 volt PS140 versions. And I'm going to show you what we have to do to make that retrofit happen. Now I found that the drill, the PS1400, or rather the PS140 and the 1320 FS model have the same motor. And I'm assuming the limitation is going to be in the strength of the gearbox. So you're taking a risk that with the additional voltage, you might crank on that gearbox and break the drill, which is no big loss because without the battery replacement, the drill is pretty much useless or worthless anyway. I've seen them on sale for like 15 bucks on eBay without batteries. So here we go. Here's how I'm going to do it. Here's what the FS1320 drill model looks like and you'll notice it has the original 13.2 volt battery pack which almost refuses to take a charge right now so what we want to do is we want to replace it with a battery pack such as this which is something i've ordered for i think it was 30 dollars for a pair of these um they're 14.4 volt battery packs and the only difference inside of these is you know notice they're for a ps140 um the only difference inside of these is that the batteries are a little bit taller. So there's this um, spacer plate in the 13.2 um, volt batteries that we're going to remove. And there's also an extra wire in there that's like a 10 volt um, battery or that's used for the uh, auxiliary light, I would assume, on the 140 model. So here we go. All right, so you'll notice that the uh, connector on my original Black & Decker battery is chewed up and the reason for that is because I had to at one point replace my charger with a DeWalt version of the same battery charger which has a slightly different profile inside this receptacle hole so I had to trim it to make that fit sometime in the past. You won't have to do this if you have your original Black & Decker charger but I just had to do that to uh, accommodate a different charging unit so yeah this this fits perfectly and the DeWalt wallet charger, notice it's charging right now because it's uh, it's still usable, but it only runs for about five minutes before it runs out of juice. All right, so you'll notice that in the original Black & Decker FS1320, um, FS132 or 132 model batteries, uh, let me find the 132 so you can see um, right there, FS, FS132. So it has five screws holding the battery together, whereas the replacement battery only has four. Now, the reason I'm swapping these out is because this receptacle or this plug and this plug do not work together. This one has diff a different plastic profile going around here than the PS140 does. So what we need to do is we need to swap the inside of this and put it into the old Black & Decker 13.2 volt battery carrier. So here I'm going to start by taking these screws out for the new one. Now one thing I'm going to tell you that I learned is these NICAD batteries that are used in these units are you know, you think of them as something that goes into a child's toy. Well, those are usually sealed a little bit better. And what I found is when you take these out, definitely make sure you wash your hands after handling these battery packs, what's on the inside, because they're not very well protected. And the chemicals, um, well, let's just say it feels like putting automotive battery acid on your face if you happen to touch your face after handling the batteries. So keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to take this out. Notice that the battery pack 
in here. I mean, it's all clean. It hasn't, doesn't have any cells that are exposed or um, exploded or anything. It's, it's just old and the batteries just don't hold the charge anymore. This one looks a little bit different, but the profile of the batteries looking down on them is exactly the same. Well, here we go. The, uh, the new 14.4 volt battery pack is now exposed. Um, there's a little surprise in here and that is this extra negative wire that actually goes into a contact that's on the side of this uh, PS1420 and I'm assuming that's used for the uh, um, auxiliary light that comes with the 1420s that doesn't come with the 1320s. So what do you do with the wire? Your old drill doesn't have the battery, it doesn't require that um, wire for anything. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to snip this wire right at the base here with a pair of snippers now. Um, what you don't want to do is these are, you don't want to arc these. So um, instead of snipping them right at the base, what I've done is I've gone up here and I, I'm going to snip it right inside the case. Okay, here we go. Now, um, you've got an exposed wire in there. You don't want it to touch anything. Um, obviously, you don't want it to arc inside and burn up the battery or cause a fire. So, um, I'm not going to do anything very professional. You know, I think I'm just going to do that with this one. The previous one I, I taped. Um, this one, I'm just going to pull it off right there. Very carefully, because these batteries come pre-charged. You, you don't want to touch positive to negative and and cause damage to anything there we go wires gone if i ever need to put it back i'll just solder it back but this makes for a quick quick um and quick fix for getting rid of that extra wire so now what we're going to do is we're going to carefully pry this battery pack we're not going to touch any contacts um, preferably use a plastic tool and don't don't do as i do do as i say um just to get this battery pack out of there very carefully it's not as well protected and wrapped as the original notice that that's got a nice plastic shrink wrap around it this one has nothing but it was cheap all right so on the right is the old battery pack on the left is the new um, aftermarket battery pack notice that um, as far as their profile they're identical now the one thing we talked about was the size of the battery the new batteries you'll notice are taller than the originals. That means that's how they're getting the extra voltage out of them and the extra amp hours out of them. So the way they accommodated that in these battery cases was they had this little um, plastic insert to make up for the, uh, the extra height. Um, you don't need that. As a matter of fact, the new battery pack won't fit the old one if you use that. And so you could do one of two things. You could just use this little foam insert and put it in there but you're still going to be dealing with the foam insert that these batteries already come with so you can take that out or what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use it as is i'm just going to drop it right in there because it's a direct fit it, it might have to squeeze past this little center post it might have to squeeze past so i just either puncture a hole through that foam material or just kind of force it on um, this one as a matter of fact unlike the last one just plopped right in so there we go line that up and take the original the original plug and put it over the new battery And it fits perfectly. The contacts line up. Plus and minus don't change. And then all we're going to do is we're going to just screw this back together. All right, so we got the drill ready. We can put the new battery pack in there right now. And let's see what it looks like and how it works. Um, here's the uh, new refreshed battery pack that I swapped out the uh, internals on. Um, let's go ahead and pop it together. And 
like new, like new. I don't have very much usage on this drill. I mean, it's dirty from paint, but I didn't use it that much. The battery is just aged out. And so I could probably use this for another few years. The only thing I was going to say is um, in order to avoid like locking up the gearbox with the extra torque that you're going to get from the batteries, just in case that gearbox can't handle it, don't, don't put it on the locked setting unless you're willing to risk um, shredding your gearbox. I don't know the specs on the gearbox. I would assume it's going to be fine, but keep it one notch under so that it can actually spin if it um, if it locks um, up against the uh, surface when you get the screw all the way in, but that's that's it. You got a brand new life for your fire, firestorm or 13.2 volt drill, and just to prove to you, um, this is a this uh, Dewalt charger. Um, I think your Black and Decker will do the same thing. Charges up to 13 or 14.4 volts. Actually, I tested the battery. It goes up to like over 16. So it's a, it's a very powerful battery that you get from the aftermarket and all the more reason to be careful with your gearbox on your drill. The motor, again, as far as I can tell, the difference between your um, 1320 Firestorm and your Power Storm or PS um, 1420 or, or 142, um, the motor is the same. The difference might be in the gearbox. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. One additional note, guys, that I was going to say is, you know, those batteries that we just took out, um, don't just throw them in the trash. Um, there's places around like Batteries Plus that accept used NICADs and uh, used nickel metal hydride batteries. So recycle if you can. Don't throw them out. It's just bad form. Okay, thanks. Guys, while I got you, I just wanted to tell you about my project. Um, it's CureCoin. And... What we do is we incentivize people with cryptocurrency who fold proteins for um, a Stanford project called Folding at Home. Uh, right now it's helping COVID-19 research and um, this is what the client software looks like when it's running, just the way I've got it set up. Um, right here you'll see a uh, molecule simulation that it's going to run and um, uh, just check it out. Uh, you can fold, don't worry about the cryptocurrency just as long as you're contributing, but if you also want to um, learn a little bit about cryptocurrency and how it works, um, check out curecoin.net. Um, we'd certainly appreciate the additional compute power. You're probably looking at this on your PC. Only PCs work. There's no um, Android or iOS client, but hey, um, if you can help out with research, all the better. If you can earn a little bit of pocket change in the process, um, that's, that's even a, a bigger plus, right? So, um, hey, thanks for joining me and uh, good luck with your drill upgrade and hope to see you unfolding at home as well. Thanks. Bye.